Welcome back to Switch Corner. It's time for our weekly breakdown of 10 deals under $10, or of course your local currency. As always, we're going to be covering the eShops across the US, Canada, UK, EU, and Australia. And I gotta say now, this is one of the best weeks I've seen in some time, with a whole lot of just like brand new lows. If you do want the more expensive side of things though, go ahead and check out our Saturday edition, where every single deal is still happening right now. So with that luck, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family, and let's Let's get started. So first up this week we've got Ghana, this one that only has a new all time low of 80% but the sequel comes out next week so this may just be the perfect time to jump into what is an amazing platformer if you haven't already. This one though be aware it is hard as nails, it is a 2D roguelike with procedural generation and it's going to kill you again and again. Now if you are anything like me you probably already have a whole lot of like roguelites in your library but this is for sure one of the better ones. You will die a lot as I say but it never feels cheap. The game gives you the mechanics you need, you've just simply now got to master them. Then the story as well, while it's very kind of simplistic, it's just the right level of weird as you're trying to cheer up your friend, who is a giant landbound whale by the name of Sally by fetching her basically trinkets. To do this you'll travel to different locations and kill everything in sight. As always then to round things out at the beginning of each run expect to be choosing things like new abilities, while also changing things on the fly as you progress. This is an amazing game if you like your gameplay challenging and the price as good as it gets. I'd pick this up if you like your roguelites because as I say the sequel that's coming this week I'm hoping it's even better. So while I'm on hard as nails, actually, let's talk Atomic Run Gun Jump Gun. While it's not quite the lowest price we've ever seen, actually it's the only game on today's list that isn't at its lowest, this is still absolutely worth a mention because it hasn't been on sale in 12 months and this is a hidden gem that everyone should consider or at least should, you know, consider if you like your games that are willing to like kick your ass over and over again. This is just brutally difficult, this one. I think though it's even more addictive than a roguelike formula because what we get here is basically an auto runner with two mechanics. You can shoot forwards, you can shoot downwards. Shooting forward it's going to clear your way, clear our enemies obstacles. Shooting down though that's going to double as not only an attack but also a jump. That's really it, the controls simple as ever. The challenge though is the way it just insanely ramps the levels you're going to be traversing. I love this game, I reviewed it on the channel, I even featured it on the weekly Switch Gem series and it is one I do keep on coming back to because it's so easy to pick up and play for five minutes but also get stuck in it for like five hours because of that restart button you just keep on pressing it. Wrapping out this one though then beautiful pixel work graphics some weird alien life forms to meet that give you like a small peek into this world between levels and then the soundtrack incredible stuff that's of the synthwave variety well worth it right now with 75% off. Alright, so we're two hard games so far. Let's go for the hat trick before we all like chill things out a little bit, but out buddies DX. This one is an old school pixel style Metroidvania where it does absolutely no hand holding. In, in fact, I found myself lost in this world more than a few times. I'm still trying to wrap it up myself. This price though, 55% off, a great discount for a relatively new game. It only came out back in like June of this year. Expect here though a whole lot of collectibles, puzzles and secrets to uncover. It also has a really unique underwater setting tons of bosses and enemies but I think for me honestly where this one really stands out it's the like storyline where it presents a sunken fortress of the old gods. You are an adventurer that awakes after an accident to now find yourself 36,000 feet under the sea. Wounded, lost, basically get out there, find safety and even meet a few locals along the way. Metroidvania fans definitely check this one out but I'd say watch a couple reviews first to see if it's for you. It definitely like tries a few different things, some land, some don't, but there's a great little robot partner I want to mention named Buddy that actually allows for co-op too. Okay, so it's not a difficult game, but it is heavy hitting with its themes. Headliner, Novi News, it's coming in with a monster 86% off. Here we basically have a game where you control the media, so fans of games like Papers Please Not Tonight will probably find something of interest here as it presents kind of a stark reality for this world after like actions you take. Here though you're controlling the media, you decide the headlines, will you nationalise healthcare or stand against it? Will you promote or stand against alcohol? Will you stand up for the people or kind of work to hinder them? The idea is this, you make the call but then you will see the impact from the friends you have around you and also to the like walks home when you'll like navigate the streets. You even get an apartment here just to 
treat as you please. Really interesting game where you'll follow the impact of your decisions across like four main characters. For me, it was the walking home elements that really did show the power in the decisions I was making, and I was really impressed with this one. It is, in my opinion, overlooked and underappreciated, so consider it if you like, you know, a more text heavy experience that's more focused on the emotional connection. It's never been anywhere near this price though, so I will say jump on this one quickly before it expires. Swaggerloss now, and I'm gonna say, like, if you like your retro, this is probably for you. It's a 16 bit retro side scrolling action adventure RPG. Loud descriptors there. It's also a new all time lower, 60% off. Story's not deep, it sets the scene, though the kingdom of Lumen is being invaded by an enemy from another dimension. Get out there and basically stop them. Expect to hear a non linear experience, which is a nice touch, it adds to that replayability. It claims to kind of be Metroidvania style, which I'd agree to a certain extent. I just wouldn't go in expecting, you know, full on Metroidvania more you know, kind of entry level or like influenced by. Throw in there though, tons of buses, a chiptune style soundtrack, and a ton of not only like story missions, but like secrets and side quests, and it's well worth a look at this price. Overall, look, the game just has really good mechanics. It just really captures the 16-bit spirit it sets out to, but it definitely modernizes things along the way. And I just love the, the, like, the overall vibe of it all. It doesn't skimp on variety, and that is always good to see. All right, so my pickups of the week then, and I am grabbing two. First up, we get MX Nitro Unleashed. This is one that I intended to pick up early on in the year when it released, but it passed me by, and I couldn't help but get this like feeling of cheap trials clone basically. I also think that was unfair now looking back after I've watched more than a few reviews on it. While the idea may no doubt you know be similar, you're on a bike, you side on few pints, you know all that good stuff, it seems this takes the kind of physics challenge away and focuses more on speed and getting to that finish line the quickest while pulling off more than a few stunts along the way. This also actually came out it seems in 2017 as just MX Nitro, but the Unleashed in the name is them taking that base game and now expanding upon it with improved visuals, textures, a new easy mode, new tracks, new bosses because apparently this game has bus fights, and then some new outfits. At 70, like 5% off, this is a crazy low price that I'm not going to miss out on, and this rarely goes on sale too. The last time was like six months ago at this point. My final pickup then, Hyper Jam. I've wanted to check this out for a while, but I didn't fancy full price, even though I've heard a lot of good things about it. Now though, with 80% off, it's went from not sure to basically get in my library. Here we are getting an arena brawl up up to four players, and while it does contain AI bots for solo play, the real focus here is like local and online play. Fortunately though, this one, the online, it has cross play, so now whether it's an active community, I couldn't tell you, but I have a few friends who still jump in on this occasionally, so I'm just gonna pick it up for those moments when I can join them online. This is probably wishful thinking, but hearing it's like weapon based arena brawling, kind of have this hope for like a flashback to the days of Power Stone on the Dreamcast. I know it's very like highly unlikely. Here though, you're wielding katanas, rocket launchers, sledgehammers, and you're going to war. It's then all topped off with a whole lot of neon and a synthwave soundtrack. If you watch this channel pretty frequently, you will know they had me at neon and synthwave. All right, so next up, both of these games are coming from Map Makes Games, and I've spoken about them like before, so let's put them together. First up, though, we get Tower 4. This is another multiplayer focused experience for up to six players, and it's all like single screen battles. Here, you grab your bow and arrow and you work to take each other out, but there's also like a ton of things in here to, you know, just mix the party up a bit. Think like arrow types, power ups. While that local multiplayer is no doubt the reason to pick this one up, just know there's no online play with this one, it's often overlooked that it actually has a fantastic single player and co-op mode where you'll be tasked with taking down waves of enemies and the occasional boss. Probably wouldn't suggest this full price honestly unless local play is an option for you, but with the current 75% off I don't think it's a bad shot to check out the single player modes. Sadly it's not one I get to spend too much time with right now, but when we do get friends together this is high on the list of go-to games. 75% off you really can't knock the price, it even features Celeste as this is the definitive edition that throws in all the DLC as well as all the expansion packs. Then same dev but now the modern like masterpiece Celeste. It's back with 75% off. If you are one of the few out there without this in your library, don't even think about it. You are missing out on a game that I believe will probably go down now in video game history, though I think it has already. Unlike Tower 4 though, Celeste is purely single player and it's a puzzle platformer, not too dissimilar to the likes of think like Super Meat Boy where you'll be striving to reach the top of Celeste Mountain while facing her inner demons. 
beautifully handled storytelling, perfect platforming, and the challenge is real. The soundtrack also deserves a mention here. It's beautiful stuff that you should all just take some time to listen to. So our penultimate game of the week then on these last two games today, the discounts are just, for me, another level. First up, we've got alternate Jake Hunter, Daedalus, The Awakening of Jazz. But this is a visual novel, but more in line with like Phoenix, right? Where there is some gameplay and investigation. I picked this up in a sale for around 50% off. I think I paid like 25, maybe 30 bucks. Do not regret that at all. In fact, I think I just regret waiting so long to check it out. But well, now it is a monster 88% off. And I never thought this would be making an appearance in the under like $10 variation of this series. I've never played a Jake Hunter title before. It seems it's from the DS days, but just know you don't need any of that background knowledge to enjoy this one. Here, someone has murdered your grandfather while he was living in New York. You basically travel to New York and you're setting out to solve the mystery. You discover his last word was Daedalus, but what does it mean and why was he killed? It's really unique, this one. At investigation scenes, you can rotate the camera 360 degrees, and the visuals never seen anything quite like them before. They blend almost like real world images for backgrounds that have this like, watercolor effect with characters that are layered over the top. I was impressed and this price point is seriously impressive. Honestly, visual novels, any sort of game like this rarely sees like a discount, never mind like a huge drop like this one. Just know if you like games like Phoenix Wright AI, it may be for you. It feels more involved than simply reading. So our final game then, another surprise drop, but Ghostbusters the video game remastered and I absolutely adore this game. Rarely is a game based on a movie actually, you know, good and this one just absolutely proved that theory wrong. I played it originally back on release in like 2009 on the Xbox One and I loved it then. This remaster does it absolute justice with a solid visual upgrade. Now sure it's for like definitely showing its age and areas but the gameplay is just so entertaining. What I like with this one and why fans should definitely get it you can basically consider it a sequel to the movies with a new trip through New York because it was written by original writers Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis. Then to reinforce that high level of quality they have the likeness and the voice work, you get Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis, and Ernie Hudson. This 3D adventure though is great fun and they absolutely nail that feeling of the Proton Pack. With 75% off, it's easily a new all-time low and it's my pick of the week for sure. And that is it, another week down. Will you be adding anything to your library? I think this is a really good week. I actually think there's something for everyone and that's always nice to see. With that then, like a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. Helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. If you do want to check that out for yourself, it is linked in the video description down below. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.